Hello again, and it's Friday, another gorgeous day. Let's keep this gorgeous day going for the best. Okay, so as you probably know by now that I represent Handle of Handbags, which is a one-of-a-kind leather handbag line. My name is Pat, or you can call me just P.A., and I want you to subscribe if you enjoy this network because what I actually do here is talk about sisters of color with power, sisters who have done awesome things in life, sisters whose shoulders we stand on. Again, I reiterate as sisters, these are some of the best known unknowns ever known because these are the only ones we know about, so we can only talk about those. And there's lots of us out there. So let's get started with a great bag today. I'm excited about this. Look at this. This is a wonderful, of course, everything that handle of handbags is done out of 100% leather. Look at this bag. This bag can be carried in so many ways. It's a special bag because it's for a special person. Look at how this bag is. 100% leather. It's a clutch bag. Yes, it is. It can be carried like this when you want to get just get like a hey, and hang it. Carry it in that sort of way. You can carry it as a clutch. You can carry it as a junk bag. You can carry it any way you want. It's loads of leather involved in here. Look at this. So much leather. Well, on the exterior of the bag, I have a pocket here just for you because you have quick things you want to get to. We ladies are always like that. But with all these tons of leather hanging on this bag, look at this. Full, full, full leather. Yes, ladies, they still sell leather. Cows are still out there and other animals also. How do you like that? It's loads of leather, easy to access inside the bag. I have it strapped up with another wallet for those other things that you know we continue to hide things inside. It has a Velcro closure so your things won't fall out. You'll always be able to find them. But you can dig deep. You can carry this bag anyway. That's what I like about this bag because there's so many different ways to carry it. You can have so much fun with it. Oh my goodness gracious, which way am I going to carry her today? You can make people's eyes pop out because you're just going to carry any way you can. And it doesn't matter about the size of the bag because you can change the size, you can change the style, you can change anything about it you want to do. Anything. Fabulous bag. In honor of this bag, it handle it handbags, I've actually named this bag after a powerful sister. This sister happens to be, I don't know if you've heard of her before, but her name is Maggie Lena Walker. Let me tell you, let me just give you a brief knowledge about Maggie. Powerful sister she is. She was born on the 15th of July in 1864, and she passed, unfortunately, on the 15th of December 1934 in Richmond, Virginia, where she was the wife and mother of four. This sister was the daughter of Elizabeth Draper. Her mother was a former slave and assistant cook. Her biological father was an Irish-born Confederate soldier and post-war writer for the New York Herald paper. Well, by 1902, Maggie herself published a newspaper for an organization called the St. Luke Herald. Shortly after that, she then chartered the St. Luke Penny Savings Bank. And then she served as the bank's first president. This is why she became the first woman of any color to charter a bank in the United States. Because she wanted to be able to give loans to business loans and home loans to black people who were being consistently denied of getting money from a bank, especially as a loan. You know that. We, it is still happening today. Nothing's changed in that department for sure. Okay. The bank's leadership also included several other female board members. And later, she agreed to serve as a chairman of the board of directors. My girl was bad, okay? When the bank merged with two other Richmond banks and became the Consolidated Bank and Trust Company, which grew to serve generations of Richmond people folks as an African-American-owned institution. Unfortunately, later on, when we all had the recession in this country, uh, the bank was acquired by a multi-bank deal, so their name has changed since then, unfortunately. But also in 1902, in Walker's up uh, in her honor, a high school was built, and they named it Maggie L. Walker High School. It was refurbished. They had to close it down for a period of time. They refurbished it, and when it reopened hmm, as a high school, 
it was uh which was in 2001 when they reopened it they then called it a maggie l walker governor school for government and international study hey girlfriend you are on the roll after her death because unfortunately she came down with diabetes and had to have both her legs removed but she kept on moving because she wanted people to see how strong she was and how much it takes to really to keep going and doing and helping others. She didn't need legs to step tall, to step tall, I should say. <laughs> okay. And um Actually, what happened after her death, her office building at St. Luke's was listed as the National Registry for, of Historic Places in 1982. Today, the National Park Service operates the Maggie L. Walker Historic Site on her former home, and it opened as a museum in 1985. The sister was so bad, rich men never, never forgot about her. They kept bringing their sister up higher, higher, and higher. So the site states today that, it, uh, well, at this particular site, the site stated that it commemorates the life of a progressive and talented African-American woman. She bad. Well, the African-American uh, woman, hey, on July 15th in 2017, in Richmond, they built a bronze 10-foot statue of Walker. And it was erected right on Broad Street in downtown Richmond. Were they proud of that sister? Just as we are today, we're extremely proud of this sister because she bad. And we have so many out here like her. So in honor of her again, we have named this bag in honor of Maggie L. Walker, a powerful sister. We are indeed proud of her. And come and see us again. We're so glad you stopped by again today to learn about another one of us infamous sisters out here and we want the world to know we bad again visit us at handleithandbags.com okay enjoy your friday and i'll see you again next week bye bye